Hey, it's Danny from SSP. Remember, you know, SSP like S S P O H E Y L A. Huh? Yeah, I know. It was like a it was like a whole three months ago. Can you believe that? Three months? I don't know if you remember me. Um, I did a rap. Say who? I did a rap. Group who? Um. Say who? Group who? I think that was it. I just kind of rapped. I don't know. I just want you to know that I've definitely remembered you. I've just been thinking it's so awesome that like six days can have such an impact, at least on me as a person. I mean, even three months later, I still think about what I saw and who I met during that one week in Los Angeles. I think about that all the time. And to prove that I haven't forgotten about you guys, I just want to show you a few things that have changed. Um, right here, we got the awesome spread of all the pictures I took at SSP. You know, it's pretty cool. Then over here, we got a picture of Group Foo. It's right next to the We Are Foo rap that I wrote, the original version. We have just this, like, mash of tape with some words on it, but those words are very important to me. See, on the last night at SSP, a bunch of people, they slapped their, like, name tag that was on their cup. They slapped that on my back, and it kind of formed into this ball thing here. Um, fortunately, I can't read all the names, but like here's Kendra and then like Matt, but I think that's pretty much all I can read. And then over here, as you can see, what's up Calvin? What's up? Over here we got a special dedication to a great man. Um, he slapped his name sticker on my back and I really liked his name sticker because it said Calvin and Hobbs <laughs> and I really dug that but I couldn't find his name sticker and that made me sad so I just wrote it on a piece of paper and stuck it on my wall here um, I tried to imitate Dana's writing as best as I could and I think I did a pretty good job and of course I remembered all the spiritual things you know that Laura talked about so Laura um, so over here on this wall we just kind of I kind of wrote be a child because I really liked that, you know, look at, look at the world from the eyes of a child. It's pretty awesome. And then, unconditional love is kind of written there, all weird. You know, radical acceptance, unconditional love, and amazing grace, it's on the t-shirt that I got. I remembered all those little games and sayings I lost. Where was I? Oh yeah, I remembered all those little games and sayings that we had. The water balloon fight where we dominated Nate. Dominate. Tid Nate. Oh yes. Spoo. At this point, I'd like to direct you to my desktop picture, which is me on this little table, crouching and doing the Birdman. Don't you try to get me back. No. So now I kind of like to say a few things about the person that I am now and how I think SSP got me there. Things that I saw and the people that I met that week just had this huge impact on the way that I see life and the issues that I deal with. One of the main things that I realized during the week is that I can make my life so simple, so awesome, so fun if I just treated everything and everyone with love. So far this love everything everyone everything's loving awesome so far that that's really worked out for me and i really like the person that i've become because the thing that i learned at ssp ah, thank you <laughs> Crap. also i've been trying to you know create ssp in my community because I can't live with just having SSP one week out of the year. I can't live with that. I need my SSP experience. My experience. What I've been trying to do is kind of create that community with my friends and, you know, the people in my community where, you know, we don't judge each other. We just love each other. And I've kind of been trying to reach out to people that I don't normally reach out to and just say, hey, you know, I care about you, and I love you, and I just need you to know that. 
But kind of what's happening is my friends don't really get it. And they're like, D Hill, 2D, you know, what's the point? What's the point of trying to love people, you know? Is it really going to get you anywhere? Is it really going to accomplish anything? Are you trying to change the world by talking to people and saying you love them? And, um, you know, it kind of discourages me because I'm kind of like, hey guys, come on, let's change the world. Let's love each other. And they're kind of like, no. But overall, you know, I'm pretty great. And I'm really thankful that I had that SSP experience with all of you. Um, again, I think about you all the time. I'm so glad that I got to meet all of you. Um, I'm sorry we haven't talked that much. I mean, it's been three months and I haven't really heard anything from anyone. Kind of made me sad. That's why I made this video, just to say what's up, tell you how I've been, wondering how you've been. So I just want you to remember to always wrap your paintbrushes. I've been thinking about you guys a lot. I love you all so much. I wish you the best. Um, I hope we talk again soon. I love you. Thanks. Bye.